Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, so today we're going to do our palette of the month update. So if you're interested in seeing our progress and our next month's choice, then just keep on watching. So I had the uh, Viseart Grand Pro Volume 3 or Viseart or, you know, Vistiart, whatever you want to call it. I call it Vi Viseart. Viseart? You call it Viseart. I don't know what I call it. I call it many things. I get confused. Um, this is what she looks like now. I will insert before and after pictures. Um, there's not a ton of progress, but there are significant dips in some shades. Like, you can tell the ones that I use the most. Um, weirdly enough, the ones that I use the most are these, like, two, like, pinky kind of like, yeah. cranberry shades. Um, I don't know why. They just go really well with any look. And I was trying to branch out a lot and do more, like, rainbow eyes and stuff with our... Uh, the remainder of our Be Perfect Carnival palette for our Pan That Palette, or yeah, our Pan That Palette. Um, so those two colors worked really well. I should have played more with the blues, but I didn't, but that's fine. Um, and the teals, I really had to stop myself from using because that row of teals was all she wanted to use. Oh my lord. But yeah, still uh, one of my favorite palettes to have ever existed. Uh, this is the Pat McGrath uh, Midnight Sun palette. And this is what she's looking like now. Um, I didn't expect to see any like major progress. pans or anything like that. Um, it definitely looks more beaten up than it did prior mm -hmm. to. Um, mainly, the, I used this lightest shade and this deepest shade the most. I have a giant dip in the deepest shade going mm -hmm. on right now. Um, and I played with the other tones a little bit. Like I used this green a couple of times, but not a ton. Um, I never use this yellow because I hate yellow. <laughs> hate yellow eyeshadow on me. Specifically this like, this kind of like muted yellow. greeny gold. It's, it's not something that that sits well with me. I don't like it one bit. Um, it goes well with the oranges, but other than that, I think it's pointless and stupid. Um, but yeah, not a ton of progress as far as like pans or anything, but I definitely got a lot of use out of it. I will say I don't have a ton of pictures with it because I use this a lot as like a one and done thing. Like I dip into this matte brown here and then uh, this lightest shade and then this topper shade here. That was mainly what I used with it. Um, so there's not a ton of pictures I have to show because I didn't document those. <laughs> um, I used this a lot while we were moving, so that's kind of my my haltage on that. <laughs> haltage word? I don't think so. So I guess we decided to both go more affordable for our choices this uh, month um, because honestly our more affordable palettes we haven't really reached into as much because, you know, we, we love well, like the Be Perfect Carnivals. Yeah, those are um, what we use the most. Those are what we use the most of, and then like, you know, Natasha Denona for, and like Cleona Shadows, all of that. Um, so I decided to choose the Patricia Bright Shadow Palette from Makeup Revolution. What's this one? The, the Rich in color. color Palette. Um, I've used this just a handful of times, and I actually really liked it. Normally I hate Makeup Revolution shadows, but I've been like pining for this for a while. Um, the only shade that has a ton of progress is Honey Pot, which is the yellow, because it's like a super shock formula, and I beat the shit out of it one day. Yeah. Um, but I am really excited to play around with this, because it does have really nice tones in it. Um, and it has a lot of similar tones to the original Carnival palette mm -hmm. from Be Perfect. Um, so I think that's what drew us into it originally. <laughs> yeah, but I did quite like the formula every time I used it. It didn't go patchy like, uh, say, the um, the Jack palette with Makeup Revolution. Um, I love Jack, but that palette just didn't work for me. Uh, Vic could make it I liked it, but it wasn't um, my favorite thing. We It did break, and we ended up decluttering it. So, But if this goes well, um, playing around with it a little bit more, I'll find out how I truly feel about it. Um, but... It might kind of interest me in Makeup Revolution shadows again because I normally just kind of ignore them because they always suck for me. Um, and I decided to go with an old one that I haven't dipped into in a while. Um, this is the Profusion Wanderlust palette. This um, is the limited edition. Yeah, this, I got this a couple of years ago. And now it's the same colors but just square uh, pans. But this is one of like this really ignited a love in me for Profusion shadows. They're mm -hmm. so good for the price. Like this purple here is one of the best purples we own, mm -hmm. and it's. This palette is $9.99. Like, it's nuts. It's so good. Um, so I wanted to play with this a little more. Um, I'll probably, just because the, the greens and the browns are very in right now with the, with the fall tones, um, and then these pinks and purples can go well with the uh, pinks and purples in our Pin That palette, as well hair. as the, mm -hmm. the mint, yeah, and my hair. So I, I just love this palette. Um, we did a palette of the week with it uh, when we were doing that a while back, and I loved the looks I did with mm -hmm. that. Um, the shade... Uh, gravity up here this pink like shifty shade it's like the most gorgeous inner corner highlight i love it <laughs> so i'm excited to play with this a bit more um because if i don't then we need to declutter it because i haven't reached into it in months <laughs> yeah um side note just wanted to mention this while we're here um just we might mention it in another video but i just wanted to mention it um this is the 
Becca Pearl and Glow Shimmering Eye Palette. Um, we picked this up at TJ Maxx because we've been kind of looking at it for a while. Um, it looks very uh, lame Boring. and stupid. It's not. Um, it's not. The sh it, I mean, it's mostly shimmers. It's shimmer heavy. So if you don't like a lot of shimmer, then stay clear of this. But the two mattes in it are really deep, which I like. Um, that, you know, if a somebody with a deeper skin tone wanted to pick this up, the, the two mattes available within this palette would work phenomenal for them. Um, but they have like this shade here is almost like Pat McGrath in the way that it's got all that like text shimmer in it. Sparkle. Um, and I just wanted to throw it out there because we got it on like, how much did you buy it for? Uh, like $16 maybe? Yeah, like 15, 16 bucks at TJ Maxx. Um, so if you have one and you see it, it is worth picking up. Um, if you find it on sale, like at Ulta, it's worth picking up, but I wouldn't pay full price for really anything, Becca. Um, <laughs> sorry from the under eye corrector. Yeah, period. She's my girl. Um, but yeah, just wanted to mention this because it was at TJ Maxx and it was a steal and we haven't played around with it too much yet, but the, like the way it, I have it on my inner corner, like one of the pink shades. Oh, it's, uh, so it's stunning. stunning. So I just wanted to throw it out there while we over here. So as always there will be a little slideshow of the looks we've done with the palette of the month. There may not be a ton but there may be some. Um, we've been taking more pictures than videos. We did go through a chunk of time where we were trying an all video feed on Instagram to see if it would help engagement. Side note it did not. Um, <laughs> and so we didn't have a lot to show for our most recent like palette of the or um pan that palette update um, because we just didn't have any very many pictures with it um, with the move as well. Um, so yeah, but we will be inserting pictures and hopefully we've got enough here. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Let us know how you feel about the choices. Uh, do you own these palettes? If you do, then you can follow along on Instagram so you can kind of play with the palettes as well. Uh, but thanks so much for watching and we hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.